we just had uh, some comments from Devontae Adams uh, regarding how he was unhappy with Raiders front office and how they were doing things uh, offensively. Same. This past <laughs> Same, <off season>. Devontae. <laughs> so, question. So, I guess this is kind of a two-parter. What do you make of the comments, and are you concerned with those comments? It's what I've been saying on Drew Code for a long time. Yeah, I've been saying, you trade away Derek Carr, the whole reason he came over is probably not going to be happy. And guess what, Cody? He's not He's happy. Not happy. Yeah. Wow. Who would have thought of that? Wait, Jimmy um, G is not the answer? Yeah. <laughs> so, listen. I understand what Devontae Adams is saying because if it were up to him, he would want to he would have wanted to uh have Derek Carr stay. Yeah. He would have wanted to keep Darren Waller. <laughs> he w- you know, and now I've I've heard a lot of rumors um that there's a chance that Hunter Renfro could be gone. And it's just like, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm with Devontae Adams. Like, I, I don't understand what we're doing offensively mm-hmm. other than like the draft picks, like the Michael Mayer, the tight end from no- Notre Dame. Yeah. Great pick. Good, good pick. But you yep. also could have had, you could have kept Darren Waller. Like you didn't have to get rid of Darren Waller to get this kid. Yeah. Um, now Waller's not a great blocker like this mayor kid is coming in, so I understand the benefit of him. But you could use both. You could get rid of Foster Moreau like they did, and still, you know. So that's kind of my issue. Is there, there are a lot of the things that they're doing? Okay, I understand it, but you also could have kept, you know, this guy or or kept this guy, and we don't even know if Josh Jacobs is going to even be on there because. It kind of seems like they're at a stalemate right now because they wanted to franchise tag him and he basically didn't accept. Mm-hmm. So, and we haven't heard anything else. <laughs> yeah. So we don't know if we're even going to have uh, Josh Jacobs. So I'm with Devontae Adams. I, I think they blew this thing up way too quick. Mm-hmm. And they were trying to advocate, yeah, we want Devontae, we want Devontae, and we want Derek Carr. And then they got rid of everyone except for Devontae. And it's like, how else is he supposed to feel like yeah. he he literally came over because he wanted to play with Derek Carr and then you just like left, took him away. Yeah. And he had like a career year with, or I don't want to say career year, but had a fantastic year mm-hmm. with Derek Carr minus two games. Yeah. So I don't know, like uh, this is what I was afraid of. And this is what I was also saying is, I think he might ask for a trade and I don't mm-hmm. think that's out of a realm of possibilities. So yeah. I am, I am worried. I think what this reminds me of is kind of like, you know, when Josh McDaniels came, he had that press conference and then it, we were sold like, no, we're here to win. Uh, you know, you get the best receiver in the league. You pair him with his college quarterback, which by the way, it was a success. And then yep. you, you essentially added a, a, by, by sheer record, really, uh, a Super Bowl winning coach from an organization that had nothing but winning. You give him arguably a top 12 quarterback in the league, the number one wide receiver, the number we'll say three or four best tight end in the league, yeah. you know, a slot guy that gets first downs, which is, you know, you've had multiple players in the last organization that did the same thing. And they went to the playoffs the year before you. And then when you took over, they get a, you you get them a top 10 pick and then not only do you get rid of the quarterback that recruited the number one receiver that you traded for but you didn't even draft a younger up and coming quarterback to kind of maybe show some excitement you didn't try to go after the previous quarterback that Adams had played with before you got Jimmy G no disrespect to Jimmy Jimmy G you're on the team now welcome but let's be honest man it's kind of a wash between it and honestly argument is is are you going to stay healthy enough on the field yeah. And I know Devontae Adams recognizes that, you know, like no offense to he's Jimmy not a G. Dummy. No, yeah, yeah no offense to Jimmy G, but like I mean, Adams will make probably any quarterback look like a pro bowler. But is that quarterback gonna get them over the hump? Mm-hmm. I don't think Jimmy G is. I really think that in my opinion, Jimmy G really got success from Kyle Shanahan's offense, had him look really, really great. But I don't know if you can duplicate that in like a um, you know, uh, McDaniel's offense that that Jimmy G hasn't been in in what six, seven seasons. Mm-hmm. So I I just don't know. I, I 
I feel for Devontae Adams. I would not be surprised if next year is when he asks for the trade because I think next season he'll have two years left, one of them being a player option. Since the Maybe league. even trade deadline, to be honest. I hope not, only because like I really would like to see a full season go in yeah. with this offense because – if that could happen, then maybe, you know, I'd hate to say it, but maybe the Raiders suck enough to where we get Caleb Williams. <laughs> and then maybe Devontae Adams will stick around and saying, okay, I'll help this kid out. But, you know, also, too, there was some news that, you know, the Raiders had given some ownership stake to Tom Brady and some other player owned um, I'd be investors. okay with Tom Brady being the quarterback. <laughs> it probably would be an upgrade, ironically. <laughs> um, so hopefully those players can uh, can help spur some winning motivation because sure as heck ain't coming from Josh McDaniels, but 